hello guys welcome to my channel this is the 19th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to check out a few more text properties so as in the last tutorial in this tutorial as well I've got four paragraphs of text and uh, I have uh, four inline style rules for these paragraphs I don't have a separate style section and uh, the name of this file is text2.html in this file I've got text from uh, one of my favorite poems it's called if and uh, it was written by Rudyard Kipling it's a wonderful poem really inspirational if you haven't read it I would suggest that you google it up and uh, read it you know you would surely like it so the properties that we're going to look at are text indent text align text decoration and text transform so we're going to see how these properties affect the text uh, you know in this file so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you how this file looks without any formatting applied to it so uh, the name of the file was text2 so I'll have to find it in here yeah here it is so when I open it in the browser this is what I see so you know f eight lines of text really simple and uh, let's put some values for these properties and see how those values you know change uh, the formatting of the text so text indent is used if you want you know the opening lines of your paragraph shifted a bit so you know you must have noticed this in newspapers and you know even when you uh, read essays or articles on Wikipedia online you know uh, they do apply a bit of indent at the beginning of the paragraph just to you know uh, make it obvious that it is actually a new paragraph so this property accepts values in centimeters, in inches, in pixels. You know, if you want more control, then you could use a smaller measurement unit like pixel. But if you want something to be really obvious, then you could give a value of like one inch. For that, you'll have to type in one in, and I'll save the file. I'll go to my browser. When I refresh it, I see that the first line of the first paragraph is indeed shifted by an inch, right? The next property that we're going to check out is the text align property and there's a hyphen you know by the way between text indent as well as text align for all the four properties you have to put a hyphen between the two words so the text align property takes the value center left and right and uh, it's you know really obvious it just puts your text at the center of the screen or towards the right or towards the left so the default behavior is uh, towards the left so you know whether you specify a value left here or you don't specify a value at all your text is going to be at the left of the screen right so there's nothing uh, that changes but if I change this value to center save the file and refresh it in the browser you would see that this paragraph text is now being displayed at the center of the screen and not at the left and uh, if I change this value to right then the text would uh, jump towards the right of the screen right so that's what the text align property is used for the text decoration property takes uh, you know a couple of interesting values so you know uh, one of the values is uh, line through so you know this is similar to the strike through effect that Microsoft Word allows you to have for your text so you know when you apply this property you would see like you know a uh, line passing through your text a uh, horizontal line passing through your text basically right and uh, you could also have the underline effect through this property so for that you'll have to put a value underline and I'll save the file refresh it in the browser and now you know I see that uh, there is a line below the text and not you know on the text the final property that we're going to check out is the text transform property and this is really really important and useful so you know if suppose you want all the uh, you know first alphabets of all the words in your paragraph to be in uppercase and rest of the alphabets to be in lowercase you know this is actually called sentence case so you know uh, you could give a value capitalize and the value doesn't have to be uh, you know in the formatting that you want so capitalize and I'll save the file refresh it in the browser 
and there you go you can see that the first alphabet of each and every word in the sentence is in uppercase and rest of the alphabets are in lowercase if suppose you want all the alphabets to be in uppercase then you could give the value uppercase to this property refresh and we see that all the alphabets are now in uppercase and if you want all the alphabets to be in lowercase or small case then you could uh, use the value lowercase and I'll refresh this in the browser and there we go we see that all the alphabets are in lowercase so that's it for this tutorial I hope you guys had fun watching this one and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'm going to see you in the next tutorial till then take care